Hello friends, my name's Noah. I wanted to put together a quick video here to uh, demonstrate my preferred method of tying the knot folks call um, an alpine butterfly or a butterfly loop. I'll do it real quick right now. Um, this is, uh, I think, the quickest and easiest, uh, most flexible way of, uh, of um, tying a, a good loop in the middle of a line here. Uh, there are a lot of different methods of tying tying this. This is my preferred one. Uh, there are two that I see really commonly. One's kind of a twisty twisty method, and one is a hand wrap method. This is also a hand wrap method, but it's not the one that I see people do all the time. Uh, usually, people do a three wrap method, uh, and it works. It's okay. Um, this one's a little quicker. I think it's easier easier to adjust the size of the loop. And it works like this. Uh, I'm going to start. I'm going to wrap it once over the top of my left hand, twice over the top of my left hand. Done with wrapping. A lot of people do a three wrap method. This one's just two. I'm going to keep this end, the one that I've been wrapping with, between my right hand and my body. I'm going to push the other one that's hanging down away from me a little bit. I want them cross over the top of my right thumb like that. Um, and then I'm just going to grab, there's only one loop on the back of my left hand here. I'm going to grab that loop, pull it out to the size of loop that I want in my knot, and I'm just going to tuck that end down through this loop where the fingers of my left hand are. And that's it, just snug it up. It's all done. I'll do that again. Once over the top, twice over the top. Reach through, grab the loop, Tuck it down. Do it one more time. I'll try super slow here. All right, there you have it. So reasons you might use this rather than another loop knot like a bowline. Uh, one thing really obvious, I'm tying this in the middle. I don't need to get to the end in order to tie the knot, um, which is really useful a lot of the time. Another thing is that this knot is safe loaded in uh, pretty much any way that you can imagine loading it. You can load one end in the loop, you can load the other end in the loop, just as good. Um, you can load only the two ends and not the loop. It'll snug up and it'll stay nice and secure, just like that. It won't come out. And it's also safe if you ring load it, meaning say you have two different carabiners attached to two different objects that can move apart from each other, clipped into a loop. Usually it's not a great idea to do that with this um, with most loop knots. With this one, uh, what'll, what'll happen if it's ring loaded? Nothing on these two ends, but two different loads pulling in different directions inside the loop. Uh, what'll happen if you do that? It'll kind of uh, start to invert a little bit. It'll kind of pull apart if you do it hard enough, which hard to force it, but it'll kind of turn into a reversed version of the same form, and it'll stop there, and it won't slip any further. Um, so it's... Uh, it's, uh, if you ever need to clip two different things or attach two different things that can move apart from each other inside the same loop, um, this is uh, one of the better uh, choices that you could make there. Um, I'll compare that with a bowlin, probably the most popular loop knot. So I need the end to tie this one, at least the conventional bowlin. So there's a bowlin, as most folks tie it. Um, Perfectly good if it's loaded the way people mean to most of the time, loaded from here down into the loop, nothing pulling any other direction. Great knot, but if uh, but if it's um, uh, loaded pretty much any other way, it gets into a lot of trouble. If I load load it from the other end, 
like this. It kind of just turns into a slip knot. This will slide down like that. It's uh, it'll cinch up on whatever it's around. Um, not not usually what we're looking for. Um, and if it's loaded, uh, if it's ring loaded, it gets in big trouble. So if I have two different things attached inside the loop, no load on the standing part here. This can just pull right out pretty easily. So that can get you in a lot of trouble. Um, so anyway, that's a, a few reasons that you might opt for a butterfly loop or alpine butterfly uh, rather than another loop knot. And a nice direct way of, of tying one. Thanks for watching.